Hello, hello, my name is Cruz Mix, and today we're talking about the man, the myth, the men's rights activist who cross-dresses on the weekends, Leafy is here, and how badly I miss him. Because while this pun is unoriginal, it is true, Leafy is no longer here, and that is an absolute tragedy. I miss that no-chin bastard. Hopefully I don't have to explain who Leafy is here is, but I will explain what's happened over the last year that makes me miss him so badly. See, Leafy came back to his channel, started re-uploading, making fun of iDubs at first, just calling him a cuck, and then got challenged by H3H3, and, you know, kinda stuck to it, kinda lived with that, kinda came back because of that. I mean, we can all pretend that's what happened, but in reality, I think Leafy just enjoyed uploading, which was great because I enjoyed watching him. See, I missed out during the golden era, whenever edgy content was everywhere, whenever the world was more beautiful, YouTube was a nice place to be, I I hadn't really seen Leafy, I hadn't really watched any of his stuff, instead I watched the iDubbbz content cop and I thought Leafy was dumb and annoying and had a small chin, and now I realize he was beautiful and great and had a small chin. So when he came back, I got to feel like I was a part of something I had completely missed, and I got to see the golden era. 2016 was staring me in the face again, and I was so excited, so happy, only for him to get stricken down by the gods that hate everyone on this website. But before I get into all that, this is going to be a two-parter, I just want to say that beforehand. You don't have to watch one part to see the other, but I think this will help because I started making this video, started thinking about it, started collecting my data for this video, and then I realized this could also be a video about how much I hate H3H3. So I'm going to make that video and this one. Because while I love Leafy, I also hate H3 with such a burning passion, such an immaculate level of hatred that I couldn't, I couldn't stop myself. I knew that video had to be made too, so if you're interested in that, why not stick around? Anyway, let's get started talking about this inane bullshit. A little over a year ago now, everyone found out that iDub's new girlfriend had an OnlyFans account, so everyone was calling him a cuckold. They were making fun of him for being, you know, just kind of, uh, kind of cringe, kind of dumb. I mean, I think it's his decision. I, I, I wasn't really invested like other people were. I didn't really care that he, uh, decided to date a girl who wanted to show her privates on the internet. I just thought it was a little bit, you know, a little bit stupid. It'll, you know, not something I would do. But if you want to do it, understandable. Just expect a little bit of a, a little bit of clowning, a little bit of troll. Rolling. And that's exactly what he got, because Leafy came back with like a 30 second video calling iDubbbz a cuck. And the entirety of YouTube came to one conclusion. They came to this beautiful epiphany, this realization that we all desperately need the holy spirit of bullying to return to our souls. We needed Leafy is here to come back from the ashes of war and return to us what he had taken. All those years without any bullying, without any videos of TLC children getting laughed at, without any Dr. Phil quote retweets, you know, th there's just an empty void in our hearts without him. And so, not one to disappoint his followers, he came back from the ashes, he came back from the place that we had lost him. He decided it was time to make his triumphant return, and he made even better content than he had made in the past, even more nuanced, even more CSGO surfing. And the people couldn't be happier, it was the best time, it was the resurgence, it was the new era of bullying, and I, for one, was extremely excited. As you guys know, if you're a fan of me, which you probably aren't because there's only like 15 of you. I am a huge fan of bullying. I love it to a degree that makes me just insane, makes me absolute out of my membrane. And so I fell in love with not only him, but the commentary community. I was already watching like Tom Dark and Turkey Tom at the time, but then I just ramped up. It became more and more. I was an even bigger fan of those things because Leafy is here in inspired me. He made me remember what I lived for, and I lived for bullying, and violence, and hatred, and drama. That's what I'm about, that's what I'm into, that's what I live for, that's what I breathe, eat, and shit. As I mentioned before, that 30 second uh, video of Leafy calling iDubbbz a cuck really pissed off some people, really bothered some individuals, really made H3H3 go a little bit insane. I'm not gonna get too into it because I want to talk about it later, but he challenged Leafy, and that was really a hilarious thing to do because he became the outro for all of Leafy's new videos. In, in Ian's response video, he says, I don't care if dudes jerk off to pictures of my girlfriend. Um, and then and then Leafy came on and said, he just showed that and said, dude, dude you're, you're a fucking, fucking cuck. Dude. And that was it. And people loved it. People wow. loved the video. Really? And I, and I said, well, Leafy, uh, you're putting about as much effort into your content as you ever did. <laughs> You know, I, I would love people saying, oh, Leafy, come back. I would love to see Leafy come back and try to exist in the landscape today. Like the content that he was making would never fly on YouTube today. And you have to adapt and overcome the fact that like 
You can't even curse, bro. Like, like, I don't know. There's just something so special about the way H3 condescends to people and his wife in the background with, what just, you know, an expression that I can only describe as just depressed and lonely and dead inside. It's it's a beautiful thing, and it comes together to make the most memeable shit in the world. I love seeing H3 memes because he's such a, just a massive target, such a lol cow. Like, Boogie2988 is annoying and stupid. Anthony Fantano is extremely stupid and arrogant, but H3 has the perfect mix of stupid and annoying and arrogant. It all comes together in this beautiful concoction that makes him just a perfect lol cow. I mean, he's almost as good as Chris Chan. I could milk content from him for like years, and the only reason, the only reason I don't is because, uh, you know, I, I, I probably will. I probably will. I'm gonna be honest. There's not a reason I won't. Like, yeah, it's, it's a good idea. It's fun. It's fun. I don't like H3H3. I'll talk about him as much as I want because it's funny until I get banned or something, but I'm not big enough to get banned. I can talk all I want. As long as YouTube doesn't like auto strike me or anything or doesn't like, uh, you know, pull any things just to smite this 15 subscriber YouTuber because I, you know, called his wife depressed looking. I didn't say anything about like a, her physical features. I'm just saying her expression looks very sad and it looks like Ethan causes a great deal of strain on not only the people around him, but their mentality, their very essence, their souls. He causes them agony. But enough of that. I'm talking about Leafy here. Or rather, I'm talking about Leafy is here. Ha <laughs> ha. You see what I did? Yeah. All right. Anyway, so after Leafy got his challenge, got his outro from H3H3, what did he do? He continued making this beautiful content. He saw he started talking about stocks, just random insane bullshit, some Bitcoin or whatever. Just you know the the classic grind set type meme, the Sigma male shit, and he kind of created the archetype of the Sigma male who's into like stupid stock shit. Or maybe it's just that I noticed them like at the same time and like in my monkey brain I started to coincide them, but it feels like it was because of Leafy, and if it wasn't, you know, I'm stupid, I do bad research, I'm a bad YouTuber, that's why I have 15 followers, 15 subscribers, whatever. Anyway, eventually Leafy set his sights on Pokimane, which is a classic target if you want to get yourself banned, and this might not be the reason he got banned, there's actually some conflicting evidence from the community saying Pokimane is not the reason, some people are saying that uh, the real reason Leafy got banned was because he supposedly crossed some sort of line behind the scenes that no one is really named, but this is this is supposedly from uh, commentators who have connected with YouTube and asked this question of why Leafy got banned, and so supposedly the reason has nothing to do with Pokimane, but that's kind of hard to believe considering the timing of things. I mean, Leafy makes fun of Pokimane for being annoying, and then Pokimane takes like a little hiatus or something, and oh, suddenly Leafy gets banned. Like, oh, it doesn't really take a, a big brain, a big like psychologist, a big analyzer to figure out what happened here. Especially since this isn't really the first time Pokimane has gotten banned. I mean, if you paid, you know, a little bit of attention to the last, you know, couple, couple dramas, you might have seen her do this exact same thing to other people, but I will admit I am not sure because there is a couple more options. See, H3 is the other option because it does seem a little bit, just a little tiny bit like H3 was getting too salty, just a little bit too pissed in his pants to handle Leafy as here being there anymore. And since H3 is uh, Leafy's golden boy, and since H3 kind of does a lot of bragging about the fact that Leafy got banned, really, really celebrated the fact that Leafy got destroyed, it, it doesn't take, you know, too much to think that he might have had something to do with it. But this is all speculation. In the end, Leafy made a couple videos on Pokimane and then he got terminated. That's sad, that's a tragedy, but what really hurts is YouTube has made it so that he can basically never come back. They basically Alex Jones, one of my favorite YouTubers, which is just insane. He's come back like two or three times under different names like Weefy or Lucky, st you know, stupid shit like that, and it just, he's gone. He's removed from that, he's removed from Twitch, he's removed from everything except for Instagram and Twitter. It's just sad. Every time he comes back with one of these stupid fake names, he gets to post like two two videos before they snipe him. They've got him in their crosshairs. If they even smell Leafy is here, they'll take him down. If you sound slightly too much like Leafy is here, you're going to get your ass just slapped around. If they hear a voice that's slightly too nasally, if they see hair that's just slightly too dark and bushy, if their eyebrows are just too thick, if the chin is just too small, if the CSGO is just too much surf, they start banning and it's just so sad. And now I'd like to talk about one of the better clips I found of Leafy just making fun of H3 after his uh, destruction. Just having a good time. So please, enjoy this unedited clip I stole from someone else's channel in its entirety. You got Target on your back right now? You know H3H3 H3 is looking for every little reason to hit you with something? Oh, literally why, why every- he... Dude, he's trying <laughs> to fucking make the insinuation that I'm a school shooter. That'd be like putting it lightly. 
I don't know, like, dude, I just need to, like, go off about this guy. The fact that he's <laughs> trying to get my Twitter banned after my YouTube, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? Yeah. But you see the podcast he did? I'll, you probably didn't watch the whole thing, but he spent like 30 minutes talking about how you would have gotten banned for like picking on Pokimane, but he didn't spend it's one so second talking, bullshit, about bro. That, talking about that ending that was uploaded with the Illuminati sacrifice and the day after that you were banned. He looks hella guilty not bringing that up because it was him and Hila in the ending. That, that dude, dude it's somebody. it's so fucking like obvious that he has something to do with it <laughs> like let's just for be real. honest for fucking one second bro fucking like if i had to fucking bet yeah dude he's definitely involved i mean the only like piece of evidence that really like i guess helps his case is the fact that keemstar's not banned yet but i know that like i was definitely more extreme than keemstar maybe not extreme if you like look at all the clips but but, but it's tried, easier yeah it's tried easier to, get to yeah, he's trying to get keemstar banned the reason keemstar isn't like off youtube right now is because he has connections with youtube himself right if you would have had people inside youtube they would have reached out to you and they would have been like look you need to dial this back you we need to work with you here but you don't know anybody there you just upload dude what is up with some of the ethan, like ethan's like takes on this entire thing i remember when i first came back right i made one joke about idubs he then ends up making this video where he's like yeah like leafy is kind of attacking idubs's manhood with this but isn't there like a picture of leafy's like butthole on the internet first of all there's no picture of this shit second of all i ended up looking this shit up because i was like what the fuck is he even talking about some of the shit was uploaded on okay like an a website that I can I even fucking say Pornhub, bro? I don't think you can, so we'll just pretend like you didn't. All right, I never said that shit, but like, <laughs> dude, some of those shit I looked at the date, it was uploaded when I came back. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna say it was straight up him, like, I'm not trying to say that he looked up like a 25 year old, right, that had like medium hair. But I am saying that, like, what the fuck was that? And he spends like 20 minutes talking about it. Everyone, feel free to look up this picture right now. In my opinion, <laughs> it's pretty obviously not me. But what, like, okay, even if it wasn't, like, let's say, hypothetically, he's not psychotic enough to the point where he would, like, actually do this shit, right? Because, dude, even I don't want to believe that. He still looked up my fucking, like, nudes? What the fuck? Yeah, is that weird that he's out like, here searching even... for leafy butthole pics? Yeah, like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> like, it's such a weird like the entire thing with him is so fucking weird yeah and, and then he posted the uh the, the little the the comparison to like pokimane's boyfriend and then that one girl talking about you i don't know what the fuck is good with this dude i have no idea it feels He's like someone you dude it feels like fucking like someone else is writing his jokes or some shit because i know that like some people would say that his older shit wasn't as good as his newer shit or whatever the fuck right and i get that like he's probably burnt out but like dude just in like the time span that i've been gone when i was still here he was still like he was still definitely making jokes now it's yeah. completely different dude like the first thing i'm like greeted to when i come back is him making a serious video on protesting and stuff like that and i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that right but i am saying that like this was the dude that was like bashing like feminists and stuff like that it's so weird for me because and i know some people are going to be like dude you're like stuck in 2016 and i definitely am that's like when i quit right that's i didn't really watch the community since then but it's almost like i'm fucking like interacting with a completely different person at this point right right yeah. like the last time i interacted with ethan he would at least be making some jokes now he's trying to bring up my nudes and like my previous like chicks i fucked and stuff like that like who does this shit dude he, if i had beef with bitter. keemstar would keemstar do this shit who does i don't know who does this shit it's so fucking weird he's mad that you he never got one over on you he's trying and he's he's trying to get dude, one does over he have on a Kim fucking too. crush on me like what the fuck is good with this dude and it's not like he's just making one joke about it or some shit. Dude, he dug through Haley, that girl I fucked. She deleted yeah. that video a few months after, like, the witch hunt died down and the bounty was off. So, <laughs> he was looking for unlisted videos. What the fuck, man? Yeah. He's probably got a little team of, like, sycophants that just run around looking for things to show him. Like, look what we found about Leafy today. Look at, look at, look at God, Dad. I, I would love people saying, "Oh, Leafy, come back!" I would love to see Leafy come back and try to exist in the landscape today. Like.
Anyway, my name is, has been, and will be Crucimix in the foreseeable future, so if you're interested at all in me making fun of H3H3, then why don't you add to my subscriber count? Why don't you increase it by a little bit? Why don't you make me smile? Just give me a good day. Make me happier. Come on. Even if you don't watch my videos, it'd be nice to see that number go up. I'd be happier. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Just do it. Come on. Thank you. Bye. Here's a little post credit scene for you. I'm gonna read some of Levy's tweets just, just very quick. Uh, you get a copyright claim. I'm on a watch list. We're not the same. Asian girls can be hot. Might fuck around and get an AK. I'm returning it. Minecraft is designed for pedophiles. Watch out. Minecraft is the best game of all time. Don't smoke weed. Weed cures cancer. Don't drink cock. Don't drink cock. The fuck did I mean by that? It says Coke. God damn, I'm stupid. Don't drink Pepsi. Don't drink Starcock. Fucking Starcock. Why?